Hi, now let's talk about Vega Light and how we're going to be using it in the course and how to get it set up, okay? So this is the website for it. And as you can see in here, there are many ways of trying it. There's a lot of code. And then most of the time when you're looking for examples on Vegalite, what you're going to be finding is this. These are JSON specifications that actually are the ones that Vegalite compiles. If you go and try it here online, then you're going to get here into the editor. And then if you just put a Vegalite specification, then you get a code immediately here. So that's very convenient. It's a very beautiful application. Uh, created by the team. So, however, we are not going to be actually not going to be using that. So, what we are going to be using is the Vega Lite API. The Vega Lite API is a JavaScript port, or it's a library. And what it does is that it allows you to write code in JavaScript um, um, without having to actually generate the JSON uh, on your end. And uh, basically, as you can see, the code is way simpler, and then this it will generate something like this. So to test that, and the way of using it is that I want you to go into Observable, and then you search for Vega Light API, and then probably you're going to get into uh, that notebook that I was in there. And then what what uh, Jeffrey explains in there is that you just need to use this code. Okay, so. Let's say that I'm now going to go into Observable and then I'm going to create a new one that it's called Setting Up a Vega Light API. And then basically I just let's paste this here that is going to be the code that I use. And then um, I just copy the code or paste it, if, but I have done it so many times that I know it by memory. Is from the Vega account import the Vega Light API. So, and then with that, then this generates that. If you actually want to generate it, so you can save this into chart. <coughs> and then um, basically you can just say chart.render, render, no, render. And that should give you your data. And actually this one is loading uh, data online. So that's why it took a little bit to, to draw. If you just want to do it in one line, you can do it in the same cell. And then just make sure that you know how you're rendering that. Uh, remember that we also had something called the view offs. So this is useful because that way you can actually get the chart. And then this one is going to be your Vega view. If you actually get into some more advanced things, then you're going to see uh, that later that to be important. The key in here is that that chart, you can actually use it then to generate like a JSON specification or uh, how do you call that to uh, oh, this is actually the, the, the view interesting. So before rendering, so one of the things you can do, it's like, uh, let's do it like, I want to leave this one here. So let me use another one of the examples. So let's say that I'm going to use like, for instance, this one from here. So like the equivalent of that one in Vega Light will be Vega Light and then a mark bar. And we're going to explain that later uh, better. And then we're going to say this is my data. And then uh, like the setup that they have, it actually allows you to specify like this without even the URL. And then you say that my encoding, it's month, field date, and it's ordinal. So basically that is going to be a BLY of a field um, ordinal, and then the, the field date, and then it's going to have the time unit uh, month. And then just by doing that, and then doing render, and I need to clear this up. Then now I have the months, and then if you want to use the x-axis, like like right that shouldn't take that long. Uh, so I think it's going to be the mean of the precipitation. Precipitation. Are you crossing your fingers? Good. So now I have a chart. So instead of doing render, that's what I wanted to explain in here. So let's call this weather. And then I'm going to save that in there. So I act, I'm actually getting the whole chart in there. And then if you, instead of doing render, what you do with that is that you say, hey, give me the JSON or give me the spec. And then that is going to give you uh, some um, code, like a JSON specification. 
this one, that you can then uh, copy and paste or save, for instance, in here, like let's save it in here. And if you actually go and look at that code uh, here, it's going to be just some JSON that if you go and paste that into the Vega editor, that is going to be rendering your thing. What I'm trying to say with that is that the way this is being rendered is by Vega Lite API generating Vega Lite JSON uh, code, okay, or jo uh, JSON files. And those are the ones that are actually being rendered. That it's important to keep in mind because it's useful sometimes to debug code like that. That is if you're working on Observable. If you want to use the Vega Lite code outside Observable, um, then let's maybe go here into the Vega Lite page. I think we were here. Then if you see the get getting started, then you're going to see this. There is this nice tutorial, and at the end, they're going to show a piece of code like this one. Okay. So the key of this is that first they load the libraries and then they say, oh, interesting this. Uh, and then they say where they're going to be doing the drawings. So in this case in here. And then finally they create a spec. Then notice that this is JSON. And then finally they use Beg and Beth. Okay. If you want to use the Begalite API, um, I have been asking them to uh, actually provide an example uh, to the page, uh, like maybe uh, here, like this is the GitHub repository. And if you check, they have a pull request here of mine. I don't, I think they accepted it, but I couldn't find it when I was preparing, oops, this one. So it's maybe it's in the documentation um, or maybe not. So basically if, since they haven't shown it, in there yet uh, then I actually have created a block that you can use for that so if you just search for bl.ozks uh, and then org slash John Gerber these are my blocks like this was the way that you will generate um, d3 examples before then you can come in here into this Begalite JavaScript API browser example I wonder if you search for that, if you get here with Beg and Beth. And then here is the code that you need to generate. So basically just copy and paste this. It's very similar to the one that you had on D3. Where you're drawing, this is the starting code, and then the code that you use for, for actually generating. Notice how I'm actually compiling that into a spec. Like actually, maybe this should be two spec instead of two JSON, but two JSON is also working in there. And then you say with Beg and Bed, hey, I just want to, to embed this chart in here. So that is another way of using, if you want to use Vega Lite outside of Circle. Okay. So, um, but most of the work we are going to be doing here is inside. So that, that you should be fine in there.